This is um, Chris and Becky Scott. That's so, nice. and, and I read that, you, that they are the family who kind of nearly broke you after all these years of doing this job and you say, I can sort out any child, any family. Yeah. This was the toughest one. Yeah. Why? So I obviously have 72 hours yeah. to achieve my goal and it was on day three. So Becky suffered postnatal depression in a very big way and it's a very complex story tonight. Um, and what you just saw is only a fraction of what unfolds. Right. And is that what you have to get over? You have to get over Becky's depression. Yes. So I couldn't crack. I couldn't crack. Yes. No. How to get Becky's confidence up? Yeah. Got gotcha. you. And, and it's such in a the sensitive end, thing, isn't it? Postnatal depression. You've got to be very careful with that. Uh -huh. How you now deal with someone. Now this is right, Ruth. That's exactly what I was doing. But by day three, I lost my rag. Mm. Did you? I couldn't pussy put anymore. These that children were not going to have a happy life if things didn't change. So you change. had to tell her straight? Yeah, I did. did. She, how did she take I that? I did. You need to watch oh, it. Oh, <laughs> OK, all right. Can, can I say this? I'm just back from a two-week holiday, and not every mother there was suffering from postnatal depression, but all their children were hideous, it has to be said, <laughs> more, more or less, the three-year-olds and whatever. There were a, a lot the, of a screaming lack of children. People who would not, and I thought fathers were worse, the fathers who would lift their child and then as soon as they went to put the child down, it cried, so they lifted it up again. And they just walked around all day, round the pool, round the restaurant, everywhere, we holding some 17-year-old or whatever it was <laughs> in, their, in their arms. I mean, it is unbelievable. Have people lost the bottle to actually tell their children what to do? Yes, because I think, I think the nation want their children to like them. I think the word no is getting harder yeah. and harder to say, especially in public. Are we trying more to be their friends rather than their parents? Yeah, I think we want to be liked, we want to get it right, and in order to get it right, we feel we have to keep them happy. Mm. But to discipline a child, they're not going to be happy when you're doing that. Yeah. But it's and compulsory. You have been doing this for many, many years before you were a mother. Now you're a mum of beautiful Harriet, who's with you today, and she's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Uh, one very soon. Um, how different has it been to do this job and to show these families how to do it and discipline children? Now you are a mum yourself. Um... <laughs> What I wasn't prepared for and what absolutely drives me berserk and makes me feel really cross is that my emotional brain so often overtakes my logical one. So I will always say the best nannies and the best parental experts out there often don't have children because they can always remain logical. Mm. So, when, so, example, when you say, leave the baby to cry for a bit, they're fine, you know, and parents are going, oh, I want to go yeah. into them. How, do you, yeah. how have you dealt with that this time round? Can I be honest? Mm. I'm crying. I'm crying with the mum, yeah. and I'm saying, I know we need to do this, so and I know how hard it is. Your principle of yes. don't go in. Yes, I do. Yes, yeah. I do, because the easy option in life is never the right one. Yeah. What about going back to work? I want to say about going back to work. However much men love their children, and I adore my children, I realise I can't feel what a mother feels. I realise it is different, the idea that you have nurtured this creature and given birth. It's harder for a woman to walk away from that than it is for a man. Yeah. Uh, whatever a man's love and pain is, it must be more for a woman. Oh, it's huge, absolutely huge. Harriet was four months when I started filming and I had to get on a train and leave her for four days and nights. And my darling in-laws came down to look after her. And I was sobbing to leave that house. And my mother-in-law said, and I held on to it, darling, go and enjoy your freedom. Yeah. And that clicked. And I sobbed all the way on the train. And when I arrived to film, and the director said, there's the door, knock on it and work your magic. Catherine Muse was back. Yeah. And I loved it and I loved that feeling. I'll always feel guilty mm -hmm. because I love my job. That never goes away, by the way, the working mother guilt, just and, uh, I'd let you know. Hello, YouTube. For more of the same, just click here. And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. Reaction to these pills, and I discovered later that I'm one of those people. And so literally within hours, um, I developed uh, the signs of drug toxicity. And one of the first signs is that you have an inability to sit still. 